Hello everyone, here we have the latest Tesla Model 3 in its signature red exterior and white interior. In 2021, this car sold close to 1 million units in one year. Let's look at the design of Tesla Model 3 from five different perspectives. Firstly, the sloping wedge front, two, the aerodynamic side, three, the compact rear, four, the glass roof, and five, the signature white interior. Starting from the front, Tesla Model 3 has a wedge shape design. It not only adds to the aerodynamics, but also makes it look sporty and really nice. Add to it, Tesla Model 3 doesn't have a grille in front, considering there is no engine underneath. And that adds a lot to the design as well as to the aerodynamics of the car. In fact, if you look at it closely, it resembles the Porsche to some extent. Being an electric car, there is also no grille there that gives it a real flat look. The biggest feature though is obviously these big headlights and, and these are really well shaped and designed. The contours sloping downwards gives it a real sporty feel when it comes to the front of the car. Coming to the front of the car, this is firstly controlled all by the app at push of a button. And two, you see generous space inside. This is more than sufficient to hold a carry-on baggage and certainly more than sufficient for your day-to-day -day grocery shopping. Next, let's look at the side profile. So this is the latest version of Tesla Model 3 and it has an updated design. There are some subtle changes when it was first launched in 2017, Tesla Model 3 came with chrome finish all the way through. Instead, the latest refresh, which got refreshed sometime in 2021, uh, has black railings all through. And that really does make the car more look a bit more modern. As you can see, there's a black trim on the door handle, on the turn signals, on the window trim, replacing the previous chrome finish. So now looking at the design, um, you have the A pillar in front and then the, the height of the car sort of peaks at close to the B pillar, which is essentially between the front and the rear door. And then it starts to slope down towards C pillar. Further, these 18 inch base version wheels have an aerodynamic cap on top of it. Again, makes the car look modern at the same time helping to increase um, the efficiency of the car. Tesla Model 3 has a wheelbase of 2875 millimeters, which is about 2.9 meters approximately. It fits somewhere between the Audi A4, A5, BMW 3 Series and the larger cars such as the Mercedes E-Class, BMW 5 Series and Audi A6. Next, let's move to the rear of the car. So the rear of the car is fairly compact, but the design has a narrowing back, giving it a unique style. There's a good boot inside. It has 425 liters of space. This is followed by a well-designed contours at the rear. The rear quarter panel is exaggerated and this shape gives it a real sporty feel. And lastly now, when it comes to the rear design, if one had to find one fault or one area to improve, I think it would be the tail lights. These tail lights are clearly functional, no doubt about them. Um, they add a bit to the design, but I think they are missing the wow factor. Um, I mean, I would expect an EV to have exaggerated tail lamps, uh, to have LED strips going all across, and, and you know, the tail lamps should signify a bit more of a squarish design than these curved uh, tail lights that we have uh, with Model 3. Mm -hmm. 
Next, let's get to the glass roof. This is the key standout feature when it comes to Tesla Model 3. This glass roof runs all through. So if you start from the rear of the car, it starts just behind the C pillar, then it shapes upwards, goes all the way to B pillar, which is essentially between the front and the middle doors, and then all the way in front to uh, the, C, the A pillar of the car, followed by the windshield. So, so this really is a great feature to have in the car. Now, beyond the design, it adds a lot of functionality. Firstly, it makes the main cabin look a lot more spacious and I think it adds to the feel that you get in the car. Secondly, it has a great uh, UV filter in it and therefore it doesn't really let much of heat come in from the sunlight. I'm told it blocks more than 99% of uh, UV rays coming in. Now fifth, let's go inside the interior of the car. So the overall theme of Tesla Model 3 is minimalistic design. So the first thing that you notice is there aren't many knobs and buttons and so on in the car. It's completely flat minimalistic design. All you have is the screen in front and, and that's pretty much it. You don't even have a speedometer dial. This 15-inch screen is critical and it controls literally everything in the car. And I'll go through more on that in a separate video. This video, let me just focus on the design first. In the trim version that we have, we have white seats all around in the front and in the rear. And it really adds to the design and the spaciousness of the car. These white seats are made of white vegan leather and overall they are pretty soft and comfortable. Moving to the front dash, as you can see, there's a white lining. And in fact, in my personal case, it was one of the reasons why we went for the white interior. Now, coming to the center console, the center console is supremely well designed, looks great, has great finish, and the matte finish here really makes it look premium. Secondly, you have wireless charging pads. Um, which which again help you to reduce your clutter you don't need wires hanging around in the car and then there are USB charging ports all around to summarize Tesla Model 3 can be explained in four simple words sporty futuristic aerodynamic and minimalistic yes of course it is sporty the aggressive design combined with the contours and lines gives it a real sporty feel. To the wedge shaped design, particularly in the front with those exaggerated headlamps, give it a real futuristic uh, design. Three, it's all about aerodynamics. This car has a drag coefficient of only 0.23. Lastly, it has a minimalistic design when it comes to the interior with literally just a screen there and flat surfaces all around. For more such unbiased reviews and for the latest on Tech and Travel, subscribe to our channel, Tech and Travel.